The president of Palau, Sarango Webbs Jr., arrived at Taoyuan Airport on Sunday, where he was greeted by Minister of Foreign Affairs Joseph Wu. Webbs lauded Taiwan's pandemic response and thanked the U.S. for helping to make his trip possible. He said he looked forward to enjoying Taiwan's food and scenery, as well as strengthened ties between Taiwan and Palau. The trip is his first abroad since assuming office in January. Wearing a face mask adorned with the flags of Taiwan and Palau, Ally Nation Palau's President Sarangal Whips Jr. arrives with a delegation at Taoyuan's airport, where he is greeted by Wu. And this really is only possible because of the incredible work that your government, uh, President Chai, and your Ministry of Health has done over the past year in controlling, containing, and really keeping the people of Taiwan COVID safe. Whips thanks the U.S. for its support in making the delegation's trip possible. The ambassador of the United States has joined us here today, and it's very significant because really without their support, in the beginning of January, we received the first vaccines. And we're very fortunate to be part of the United States' program of Operation Warp Speed. So it really took the partnership of these, the three of us together working to make sure that this day could come. We look forward to seeing the beautiful country, visiting the people, and tasting good food, and further deepening and strengthening our relationship. Shishin. Whips, who assumed office on January 21st, has continued his predecessor's rejection of diplomatic ties with China and has continued his country's support for Taiwan. Taiwan is also the first country he has visited since becoming president. Earlier in the day, the Central Epidemic Command Center explained the disease prevention protocol for the president. Three days before coming to Taiwan, Whips received a PCR test in Palau. Therefore, he will not be tested after arrival, only once prior to his departure. At his hotel here, he will have his exclusive entrance, his own private elevator, and a separate dining area, so he will not come in contact with other guests at the hotel. On this five-day trip, Whips has a packed itinerary, including a meeting with President Tsai Ing-wen on Tuesday. On April 1st, he will return to Palau on the same plane that will carry the first travel bubble visitors to Palau, symbolically activating the Taiwan-Palau travel bubble.